Have you seen me appointment card for the Aussie love? What would you do without me? Hey, oh. Ta. Hey, you better pour one of them out for twinkle toes and all. What time is your appointment? Eh, uh, I passed. Mm. Help me, am I? Not for me, thanks. I'm just on my way to Lindsay's. Listen, are you two going to be around about dinner time? Well, yeah, if I'm back from the Aussie, like. Right, I mean, Lindsay want to tell you something. What? Oh, well, I'd be telling, wouldn't I? I'll see you there about one then. Ta da. Hey, hold on, Mike. Michael! What do you reckon all that's about? Dunno. Eh? Maybe she's preggers. No, she can't be. <laughs> can't she? Hiya, love. I've come to pick up the stuff for the auction today. You haven't forgotten, have you? Oh, no, I haven't forgotten, Julia. Come in. Thanks, love. Oh, God bless us. All this? Yes, Max had quite a few things he wanted to get rid of. Oh, I'll never be able to carry this lot by myself, love. Oh, don't worry. I'll drop it all off at Leluth on my way into the restaurant. Oh, are you sure you don't mind? No trouble at all, Julia. Ah, it's awful good of you. <laughs> oh, it's all good stuff, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Ooh. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Good job, I'm over 21. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, then, I'll get off down the job centre then. Right. See ya. See you, love. Oh, I'll bring them out again. Shh. Look, I'll see you later. Mm. Mum, are you working today? Well, I'm on tonight. Well, so you'll be around all day then? Yeah, I've got to be ready with a good welcome for when the wanderer returns, have <laughs> not we? <laughs> Why? Oh, no reason, I was just asking. Um, listen, love, when your dad does get here, I don't think we should mention what happened with Gary, you know? Well, you know what he's like. He'll be straight back out there, we're only trying to track him down. God knows what he'd do to him if he ever found out. Look, Mum. As far as I'm concerned, Gary is history. All I'm interested in now is the future. Good for you, love. I'm just going to come and see you. Don't forget, it's the over 55's charity auction today. I wouldn't like you to miss out on any bargains, like. <laughs> what are you doing? Clamping this thing, what does it look like? But that's that Simpsons fella's car, isn't it? You won't be able to drive it. Well, he should have thought of that before he parked in my driveway, shouldn't he? Well, there's no need for this. And I'm sure your Ron won't be very impressed with you either, not with him being chairman of the VRA. For your information, Julia, it was Ron that got the wheel clamp in the first place. Well, I bet he wouldn't like it if someone did that to his car. What's that poor Mr Simpson going to think? He hasn't been here five minutes and already his car's been vandalised. Julia, I haven't vandalised it. Besides, he's got eyes, hasn't he? Says clear as day under there, disabled parking space. Want no joy? I've tried ringing most of her friends. I've tried ringing work. She's taking time off. Well, where on earth could she be, oh? Belle, stop worrying. Oh. Look, Georgia's old enough to look after herself. She's managed without us for six months, remember? Wherever she's gone, she'll be fine. Anyway, at least it gives us a break from her and Nat bickering all the time. You don't think she could have gone off with that man? What man? The man she was having an affair with before she met Martin. <sighs> Belle, she'll get in touch when she's ready. I've just come to remind you that it's the over 55's charity auction at the La Luz this afternoon, four o'clock start. You will be there, won't you? Uh, well, um... All for a good cause, you know, it's um, Alzheimer's. Could happen to any of us. One minute, your compost bentos, and the next, can't even remember your own name. Tragic. Well, uh, well, we'll certainly try and put in an appearance. The only thing is, though, you might have a bit of a problem getting there if you think of coming by car. Sorry? Well, I'm not one to put my nose in, but Bev went mad because you parked in Ron's disabled spec. What? I tried to stop her, but she was purple with rage. Oh, I don't believe it. Why? What happened? Well, we've been clamped by the clampets. <sighs> oh, great. I've got a book fair to organise. How are we going to get it out? Well, Bev's got the key, and you think I better warn you, love, you'll be in for a right mouthful if you try and get it off her. Oh, really? I think I might have one or two choice words to say myself. 
Let's see what Jed's got to say about this, shall we? Uh, excuse me. All right. Hey, I'm sorry. You can't leave that there. You're going to have to shift it. I've got to get my car out. Yeah. Well, that may be a little difficult. Why? I can't, thanks to your other half. What do you mean, you can't? Bev did that. You've had your eye wiped now, haven't you, eh? I bet you wish you never bought that thing. What the hell is she playing at? I've got an appointment at the Aussie in half an hour. She knows I am! Well, could you ask her to fetch the key, please? Well, I can't, can I? She's not in. I'm going to be late for that appointment now. Well, what am I supposed to do? Well, all right, Bev may have overreacted a bit, but fair dues, you shouldn't have put your car there in the first place. There was nowhere else to put it. You're supposed to be chairman of the BRA, aren't you? Well, you want to get this all sorted out before it all gets out of hand? Yeah, well, things wouldn't get out of hand if people didn't block driveways. Or go around clamping cars for no reason. Oh, great. The return of the curse of the car kills. Hey, Ollie, why don't you get that cab? Hey, good thinking. See you later. Hey, hold on, hold on. I was going to get that. Well, I needed to get into work. Yeah, but I need to get to the Aussie. Well, you're welcome to share it. Oh, what much choice am I? Hey, Dad. Hi, love. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, you didn't even give us time to get the red carpet out, mm, eh? That's someone's place to see me, oh. Where's your mum? In the back garden. Right. Come here, I'll get this. Better go and uh, let her know I'm back there. Hi. Hi, love. Hi. Hello. You're number one girls missed you. Have you? <laughs> Not me, eh? Oh, cracker. Come on, girl. Yes, have you missed your old dad, have you? Hey, oh, you're a good girl. <laughs> um, <sighs> This girl's Miss Jenna. Yeah? Oh, come here, you big soft milk, and give us a look. <laughs> You'll have me in tears in a minute, here. Ah, good to be home, love. Jimmy, what have you done to your hands? Uh, that, my kiddo, is a sign of hard graft, which reminds me. Here. One for you. Linz? What's this? Open it and see. Dad? That is my wage packet. It's a proper one. And I want you both to have it because you both deserve it. Shit, you should not. Dad, I'm not taking this off here. You earned it. Mob, take it. Listen, with a bit of luck, that won't be the last I'll be bringing out. Oh, Billings, there's the name of this fellow on the side up here. Can we go and see him tomorrow? Oh, I'll keep everything crossed. <laughs> Listen, I'll tell you, I can't wait to get these dirty again. Do you know something? When I was down south every night, I'd be coming home knackered, aching, my hands torn to bits. But I'll tell you, it was the best feeling I've had for years. <laughs> that, and no one knowing about my past. I mean, down there, it was just plain Jimmy. Not Jimmy Corkill, ex-drugs dealer, but Jimmy, and it was great. I'll tell you, Bob, I'm going to make a proper living if it kills me. Val! Val, have you got a minute? Um, you have for Simba? I'm always after Simba. Well, he's just nipped out to pick up a fridge from Tubrook. Well, that's the first time I've been stood up for a fridge. Never mind, I'll nip in there, see if there's any bargains. Listen, Val, I'm sorry you had to see all that with our Leo the other day. I, mean, I don't think that I'm always kicking off like that. Well, Mickey, don't have to apologise. Just remind me never to get on the wrong side of you. No, I was really out of order. I've just had a lot on my plate lately. I'm rushed off my feet because I can't find anybody suitable for this place. White tea lad's supposed to be coming, hasn't turned up yet. Still, I shouldn't have carried on the way I did. Nick, it's all right. Listen, if you get that fired up for your novices' competition, you'll walk it. Just don't overdo it on the training. Are you going to listen to your auntie bar this time? Yes, miss. <laughs> listen, Van Lam, um, can you do us a favour? You know about the steroids and that. Well, do you mind keeping it to yourself? I mean, you know what people are like. They'll have me down as some kind of cheat. I'm only taking them so I can carry on training with this injury. Mick, it's your body. It's up to you what you do with it. Just don't get so you have to rely on them all the time, that's all. I won't. I'll stop taking them after the competition. Well, that's all right then, isn't it? Yeah. See ya. Yeah. I told you there'd be some bargains here, didn't I, love? Yeah. What a 
thinking it's a bit long, can you? Um, I don't think it's really me, Julia. Oh, I don't know, though, love. You need some nice bright colours. Take away from that peaky little face. Um, thanks, Bob. No, thanks. Maybe it's more your Sammy style, eh? Mm. Of course. She could always get that Max Fire and to buy one, couldn't she? I'm sure he wouldn't mind splashing out on her. Why would you buy her clothes? Well, I would have thought that was obvious, going by what that Mel McGee has been saying. But Julia, what are you on the boat? I'm not one to tell tales out of school. You'll have to ask your sister, won't you? Something caught your eye, love? Sally, have you got a minute? Oh, I haven't, Case. Terry's gonna let me on my own and I'm rushed off my feet. I've gotta go and get some mixers. We were out last night. Look, I'll see you later, all right? Just thought I might find something for me fella here, but I don't think he'd squeeze into any of these. Oh, a bit on the large size, is he? I prefer to think of him as cuddly. <laughs> yeah, well, I think there's a few outside things here. Um, do you think he'd like these? Uh, well, if he was Rupert the Bear, yeah. <laughs> uh, listen, I think I'll leave it. Thanks, anyway. Suit yourself. Oh, there's no please in some people. I should think so, Lord. I felt a right fool in front of them Simpsons. Looking down the nose at me, the worst in the Farnham's that All lot. All right, I'm taking it off now, haven't I? Yeah, you don't be using this again without consulting me, do you? I said, do you hear, madam? Oh, you sure you weren't a teacher in a previous life? Right, are you ready to go over to Lindsay's then? Hey, hold on, Mike, hold on. Michael, are you going to tell us what this is all about, son? Surprise, surprise. Ooh, I hope it's not a telegram. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're wrong about that Lindsay being pregnant. He's coming, or what? Give us a chance. Come out, then. I've got to find out what this is all about. Yeah. Ah, uh, thanks, love. Listen, why don't you go and have a lie down, eh? After you've had that. Mm. You look shattered. I'm all right. It's just couch lag. I'll get it! Hey. Hiya. Hello. Hiya. Um, what's up? What are you two doing here? I don't know. Lindsay, what's going on? Can you sit down, please? Right. The reason we've got you all here is that me and Lindsay have got something to tell you. And we wanted you to be the first to know. Oh, my God. You are pregnant, then. Oh, Lindsay, you know it. Bev. We wanted to tell you that. Go on, you do it. Lindsay and me, we're getting married. Then. Oh well, we pass on to the next one. <coughs> now, lot four is a beautiful and tailored suit in perfect condition. Hasn't been great. Oh, much better. Thanks to Georgia. She's found a Now come on, ladies and gentlemen, you're picking yourself to be passed on. Must put round and thank now, her. Now who'll give me five pounds? Uh, actually, she's thank gone away see. for a while. Five pounds. Oh, anyway, nice. Thank you, sir. Your guess is Any as good office? as mine. Six pounds. Mm. Long story. Thank you, sir. Oh. You won't be sorry. Will anyone give me Sammy? Come on now. Oh, Tony, Sammy, yes, in Thanks. Hey, you couldn't do us a favour, oh, could you? Pick Louise up home. from Playgroup. Well, Terry said he'd be back by now. I don't know where he's got to. Oh, Sammy. Look, I won't ask you for another favour, I promise. Please. Oh, you've got a choice. Oh, thanks, Kate. Hello, Lulu. Any advances on ten? Come on now. Any advances on ten? Okay. So the ten. Go in, go in. Go on. Thank you, love. And now, uh, lot five, a quality gentleman shirt. Now then, who give me two pounds for this? <coughs> two pounds for this? Thank you, madam. Three pounds? Thank you, love. Four pounds? Come on, dig deep. Max Max back from France. Five Tomorrow. Pounds. Five pounds. Come on, still five pounds, anyone? Wife? 
Well, guess it's as good as mine. Have you seen that quality of this? If it was me, I don't think I could stand him treating me that way. No, I haven't. Don't worry. Sounds like you're in business. Let's just say I'm managing to strip Max of a few of his assets. Ooh. <laughs> Isn't there a little hitch in all of this? Like the fact that you're still married? Yeah. But we just have to wait till the divorce comes through. Yeah, and if we can get Gary's consent, we can get married straight away. Well, they are, then. That's the answer, isn't it? Fine, Gary, you've only gone far. Well, actually, Jimmy, I think he's uh, moved out to Liverpool. Yeah, well, if I know him, he'll be turning up here again before too long, just like a bad penny. He's made more comebacks than Frank Sinatra, that fella. Well, I don't think Mike and Lindsay should count on him. Hold on. Listen, before you decide whether or not to divorce soft lad, I mean, shouldn't we talk about this a bit more? It's a big step, you know, Michael, getting married. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Dad, it's what we want. And that's why we're announcing our engagement publicly. We want people to see that we're committed to each other forever. You've just got back together, though. I mean, isn't it a bit sudden? Not to us, it isn't. I mean, I've known and loved Mike ever since I first saw him. I know it sounds a bit corny, but we can't help it if we love each other. Well, I reckon you both deserve a bit of happiness after everything you've been through. Yeah. You've got my blessing. <laughs> nice one, kid. Cheers, Jim. If that's what you want, love, then me and your mum are right behind you. Thanks, Dad. Oh, that's one. Well, if you're really sure about this, Mike, then Dev and I won't stand in your way, will we, love? No. Thanks. Three pounds, anyone? Come on, three pounds! <coughs> no. Three pounds to the lady on the left. Any advance on three pounds? No. No? So to the lady on the left. Three pounds. Going, going. Gone. Excuse me. Thanks. And who's the lucky gent then? Max. It's a present for him for when he gets back from France. I'll just go and get you the money. <laughs> no shame. Lot number 20. I'm just looking to the ladies. Straight from Saville Row. Look at that. Go give me three pounds for this beautiful suit. Three, thank you, love. Four pounds. Thank you, sir. Five pounds. Thank you, sir. To the gentleman who bought the lovely silk shirt. Thank you, love. I'm surprised when that's out of five. Julia's very persuasive. Don't forget. It's amazing what people will buy. Now, come on, any advance of five pounds? Ten pounds? No, it is. Oh, ten pounds to the gentleman at the front. Very generous, Phil. I can not even be. Excuse me. Um, I was. Thank you, sir. So to the gentleman at the front for 15 pounds. Very generous of you, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, yes, my fave. Nice one, kid. Cheers. Uh, you spoil me rotten, look. <laughs> Better not get used to it. Right. Here's to our Lindsay and Mike. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Lindsay and Mike. Hmm. Hey. I don't know. I go away for three weeks. If I come back, to find I'm going to be related to the dickos. I know, yeah. Mind you, it could be worse. She could still be hanging around with that other nail marked daddy. Can't see him giving her a quickie divorce just like that, you know. It's a stubborn little cat. Do you reckon I should go and find him? You know, use a little bit of gentle persuasion, Mike. No, it's not worth it, Jim. What was the bet? Who shows his ugly mug again once he finds out that she's going to marry Mike? He'll be throwing a spanner in the works, won't he? He won't come back. Not this time. And how do you know, Liz? I just know. Uh, well, it may have been by default, but I think I've got myself a really good suit here. It's going to be new. We're going to Carboon next. They haven't missed out on any bargains. Look who's over there. That's all we need. Come on, let's get a drink. <laughs> I don't look now, but our wonderful neighbours have just come in. Here we are. A bottle of Cabinet Savvy. Savvy. Well, red wine. Who's going to give me a pound for this bottle of lovely red wine? It's delicious. Thank you, sir. Hey. One pound fifty, stuff. anyone? One pound, thank you. Uh, large whiskey and half a lager, please. Come on now. Hey, you take it easy, Dicko. Just because you got the all clear from the Aussie doesn't mean you can go throwing booze down your neck. Yeah, well, I need something to get over the shock of finding out I'm going to have an outlaw for an in-law. Three pounds. Thank 
Thank you. Three pounds twenty-five. Oh, they really think they're at them too, don't they? Aye, just because they choke with plums in the mouth doesn't mean they're any better than us. Too right it doesn't. Here you are. Four pounds over there. Thank you. Get the drinks in, will you know? Right, that's uh, four ninety-five, please. Right. Picked up any bargains then? Oh, just three ties. Ties? Who for? Max. Max Barnum. What are you doing buying ties for him? Oh, that'd be telling, wouldn't it? You mean you're telling me you're going out with Max Barnum? Could be. Well, that's weird. Because I've heard he's gone to France to see Pat and they're going to get back together. But never mind, eh? Plenty more fish in the sea. Thank you for change. <laughs> Wrong groom, Jimmy. Hey. May as well stick your stuff in there. You mean... you want me back in there with you? Well, I don't know about you, but I do want to spend the rest of our married life in separate bedrooms. Well, I thought you said you'd be getting off. You know, once Arl Lindsay was back here, OK? I was. So what made you change your mind? Because you're more like the Jimmy I married. Before the Jimmy who got into drugs come along. And I've missed him. I've missed you and Arkin. Why don't you come and show me how much? Sammy once just told me she's going out with Max Vaughan. Go away. Five pounds. Thank you, love. Shall I have a word with Susanna to see if it's true? Yeah, yeah. Thank what you, dear. Five fifty. Five seventy. Five seventy. Five seventy. Five seventy. Five seventy. Pardon, Larry's given Sammy Daniels one. Oh, who told you that? She did. Oh, I think Samantha has an overactive imagination. You know, I knew that. She's wearing the fairies, that one. You're off your head, you. Have you got a problem or something? Uh, it's not me with the problem. And what's that supposed to mean? Sammy? At least I'm not the one making up all kinds of mad stories. Well, I haven't made anything up. So why go around telling everyone you're going out with Max Varnum and you know? You why? Well, I think you should discuss it somewhere more private. It's all a pack of lies. Bev, will you keep it down to a roar, please? Can I have a bit of wash there, please, ladies? Listen, you don't know what you're talking about. You, Max and me are going out with each other. Oh, are uh, yeah. And if you must know, he really cares about me. So why has he gone back to his wife, then? He hasn't gone back to her. He's gone to tell that it's all over between them. Max is leaving Patricia to be with me. Coming up next, from cold showers and bagpipes to smoking behind the bike sheds and girls, the changing face of Gordonston. That's after the break on 4 and on ITV Next, The Price of Passion. Today? Will Davy be with him? Emily, it's Mr. Crosby. I know he's staying on for a few weeks. That's home! Oh, he's early. 
Hi, Emma. Says your mum in. Oh, hello. Hiya, Susanna. Look, I know this is dead short notice, but I wondered if you and the kid fancied coming over to ours this evening. We're having a party after school for our German's birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Gemma. Thanks. <laughs> oh, please, Mum, can we? Well, <laughs> I mean, it'd be a great opportunity for the kids to get to know each other better. You know, with these living here now. <laughs> please, Mum. Um, well, all right, then. Yes. I mean, Max is invited and all. I just don't know if he's around or not. Oh, well, he's back sometime today. All right. Well, if he fancies it. Uh, but I can't promise that the catering will be up to grand standard. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See you later. Right, Mick. Come on, babe. Okay, then. <laughs> So what are you going to do when Tina finds out you made up all that stuff you gave him? <laughs> Laugh? Yeah, but he won't be laughing, will he? He'll break your legs, and maybe mine and all. Oh, I can handle Tina. But it won't just be him after you. It'll be the old class. They're all be handing on a load of rubbish. So what's new? Hi, lads. Hey, you want to buy a telly? Simba, that's a microwave. Oh, are you? Thought you had a problem getting Channel 4. Oh, well, to that, lads. All right, stranger. All right, kids, how are you doing, me old mucker? I'm all right, sir. Hey, Jim, while you're here, could you give us a lift with this freezer? It weighs a ton. All right, another Riley. This one? Yeah, just get it into that slot over there. There's some good gear in this place, haven't you, eh? Right? How's business doing, anyway? Oh, well, well, on my way to my first million. Well, in 20 years' time, but it's a start. There you go, Jim, in there, mate. Oh, that's it. There you go. Cheers. So, how did it go down south? Three weeks hard toil on them hands, kid, I'm telling you. Have well, they been treated for shock? <laughs> I am on my way up, do you know that? I'll be listening as the name of something on the building site, you know. Go and check it out, see what's happening. Well, nice one, James. So you're finally going to start in on a proper living like the rest of us, eh? Right? You're right, I am. I'm going to show people around here that I can make something of myself. Well, good on you. Yeah, I've got to get some dust behind me, haven't I? Well, Lindsay's wedding's coming up. You what? I thought she was still married to the other, did he? Yeah, she is, but she's hoping he'll give her a quickie divorce. I and you, she's going to have a bit of a wait. Done a bunk, hasn't he, that one? Yeah, I had heard, yeah. So, Mike and Lindsay are going to tie the knot, eh? Ah, well, well, I wish them all the best. If anyone deserves a break, it's them too. Mm -hmm. Hey, listen, I'm going to have to shoot. Got to see a man about a job, know what I mean? Well, good luck, mate. See ya. Yeah, I don't want that one. Mike, that is nearly £3,000. Yeah, I've got to get you something half-decent, haven't I? Anyway, I've told you my dad'll lend me the money. And I've told you I'm not bothered about having a ring. Look, why don't we just get something else that doesn't cost the air, eh? Hey. What, like a ring pull off a can of pop? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying it doesn't have to be a ring, that's all. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll get you one of these. Eh? I've always wanted one of them. Mike, we could both get one. Are you serious? Uh, well, why not? I think they look great and it's a bit different to an engagement ring, isn't it? Come on, what do you reckon? I believe you will. <laughs> Honest. Yeah, come on, let's do it before we change our <laughs> yeah. mind. Hi, Jules. A word of warning. Whatever you do, don't park in front of that house. Why not? You're liable to get clamped. Oh, right. I remember that. I've already been told off by that Mr. Crosby anyway. Oh. Hey, babe. Hello there. Oh, hi, Max. How was France? Oh, it was very pleasant, you know. Uh, nice to see the kids again. Uh, a bit hectic, but uh, it's good to be home. Well, say, Ollie, that's a nice suit you've got on there. Oh. Very like mine, but slightly different shade. Oh, don't bang any chances being Brookside Close's only fashion guru. <laughs> yeah, I picked it up second-hand. It was only 15 quid. 15 quid? I paid nearly 400 pounds for mine. Well, I did get a bargain then, didn't I? Come on, Jeff Max. I thought you were going to work. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going. See, See you later. See you later, Max. Uh, yes, bye, Ollie. Yeah. Uh, Nat, funny, I've got a shirt that's just like that. Oh, well, just have to make sure we don't stand next to each other when we wear them. <laughs> yeah. Hi. 
Hello. I thought you'd be in the restaurant. No, I'm not going in today. How were Patricia and the children? Oh, they're fine. Absolutely fine. Thomas has learnt yet another three French swear words, and um, Alice has found herself an older man. Jean-Luc, he's four. I'll be glad to get out of these clothes, yeah? Absolutely boiling in France. So, Patricia was OK, was she? Yeah. Yeah, she was uh, fine. She's, she's really settled in there. <laughs> so the children, too. Felt in the way, actually. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I think we've grown apart. Long silences. <sighs> Relieved to get home, really. I mean, it was great to see the children again, but... Uh... Poor Max. Look, Susanna, I'm sorry that I had to take off to France the way that I did, but... I had no choice. I mean, David, he was... He was threatening to tell Patricia all kinds of things. So I had to go over there and sort things out. And I've told Patricia that uh, you and the children are living here. And this was after you realised you and Patricia have nothing in common anymore, I take it? Yeah. Well, I can't remember exactly when it was. And what if you'd got on like a house on fire, rekindled a few flames? Do you think you'd have told her I was living here then? Of course I would. No point in being dishonest. Oh, well, it's nice to know you're honest with her. What's that supposed to mean? You know damn well what I mean. Do I? Sometimes I wonder how you sleep at night, Max. Susanna, I've said I'm sorry about everything. And I'm sorry I ever trusted you, Max. Oh, Katie, don't give me another lecture, please. Like I said before, I'm not in the mood. I'm not here to give you a lecture. I'm here because I care about you. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Uh, do you want a drink? Um, yeah, I'll have a coffee, Tara. Hmm, don't you want something stronger? At this time in the day? Well, I'm going to have one. I think I deserve it after the day I've had. Don't worry. It's only going to be the one. Sammy, what's really going on between you and Max? Oh, well, nothing, according to Susanna. What you think there is? Casey, I didn't make it up, you know. We slept together a few weeks ago. In the actually. What, in the bar? <sighs> no. In the office. Oh, how romantic. But that's just it, Casey, it was. Honest to God. Look, I've got a good bull detector when it comes to men, and he was totally genuine that night. In what way? Well, by the things he said and the way he said them. Like I was the only woman he'd ever cared for. What? And now he doesn't want anything to do with you? No. It's just that he's getting it from all different sides at the moment. Patricia, Susanna, David Crosby. I feel dead sorry for him. But I know we've got something between us. Do you know what I mean? I know we have. I can tell by the way he looks at me. You can see it in his eyes. I'm not being funny like, but... It wouldn't be the first time you've got it wrong about an older fella fancy in your would it? I mean, what about that Tim? Oh, that was different. I was younger for a start. And I should have just let him go. I shouldn't have chased after him. But isn't that what you're doing with Max? No, Katie. Look, when someone says the things to you that Max Farnham said to me, you don't just walk away and pretend they never existed. You stick with it. And what if Max doesn't want to see it anymore? But he does. I know he does. He's just got to get his life sorted out, and then he'll come back to me. When do you think Georgia will be back? I won't ask if she'll be a bridesmaid. Nat, I'm talking to you. What? I said, when do you think Georgia will be back? I don't know. Well, why did she take off like that? It just doesn't make sense. I think she just needed some space on her own. Do you think she's gone off with that fella she's in love with? Not that I know of. What's his name? Pete. Well, I've never heard you talk about him before. Have I met him? No, I knew him before I met you. Well, what's he like? Yeah, he's all right. 
I mean, I haven't seen her for ages, but... Well, maybe you should ring him and see if she's there. I haven't got his number. Anyway, I don't think she'd be there. She said she wanted to be on her own. I wish I knew where she was. Yeah, so do I. I'm just going to get changed and then uh, go into work. OK. Oh, my God! Susanna! We've been burgled! <laughs> They've taken everything! Look! They've wiped me out! What are you doing, Max? Phoning the police. What do you think? I wouldn't if I were you. What do you mean? We haven't been burgled. Pardon? I took your things. What do you mean you took my things? I gave them to David's over 55 group. They've been auctioned for charity. You couldn't have done it. I think I had good reason to. You've given all my clothes away to charity. Hmm. Afraid so. Still, you'd be pleased to hear you've helped to raise a grand total of £211. No doubt your OBE's on its way. You didn't do it, Susanna. Please, just, just tell me that you didn't do it. I did, Max. What the hell did you go and do that for? You, my clothes. My, my property. How do you have no right to do that to me? Good God! Holly Simpson only paid 15 pounds for a suit that cost me nearly 400 pounds! I mean, for God's sake, Susanna, what are you playing at? Do you know, I've waited days for this moment, and you haven't let me down, Max. It was well worth the wait. But why? Because I don't like being lied to, Max. And because I don't like being made a fool of. That's why. Look, I am sorry that I had to go and see Patricia, but I had no choice. What else could I do? I mean, it's all over between us. I mean, that, that's what you wanted, isn't it? I've sorted everything else. This isn't just about Patricia. What do you mean? And would you like me to give you a little clue? Just one word. Samantha. So, what about her? Oh, please, Max, don't embarrass yourself. You know damn well what I'm talking about. Now, I, I, I can explain. Maybe. Oh, I don't want to hear it. It'll only be more lies. You slept with us both in a week, the same week after promising to me you weren't even remotely interested in anyone else. No, 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 what I said was I wasn't interested in a relationship with anybody. Oh, with anybody. but a one-night stand's all right, is it? No, 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 what I mean is... Another stupid girl's going around telling everybody she's having an affair with you. She's what? Well, you're going to have to sort that out for yourself. And you're going to have to change your technique a little. Because you appear to have said exactly the same things to Samantha and me as you said to David about Patricia. So now do you understand why the cupboard is bare? Two of these uh, extra cheese. Okay, got that. Bye now. Damn. Oh, great. Who are you? Oh, so you're the white sealer, are you? You're supposed to have been here this morning. I've been rushed off my feet all day, and I should be at my little girl's birthday party. Made a great start here, haven't we? Anyway, go and grab an apron off the back and we'll make a start. And clean yourself up, will you? Well, today would be nice. Oh, have you got an invite? You what? To Emma's party. I, I haven't seen Mick, I mean, I should be here by now. Uh, well, uh, listen, Sin, uh, 
I know you've only just started up like, but uh, what do you think they're taking anyone on in your shop? I can't afford to pay myself. Well, not yet anyway, never mind anyone else. Well, I thought you were fixed up at this building site. Yeah, so did I. Until some fellow recognised me. Knew I had form. Went and bubbled me to the boss, so it's bye-bye, Jimmy. So what are you going to do? I don't know. Keep looking, I suppose. Gotta be someone who'll take me on. Have I just had the chance to prove myself? Well, well you'll find something. It's not just for me, though, sir. It's for Jackie and Arlen's. I'm not giving up that. No, too right. You stick at it, mate. Cheers, anyway, sir. Hey, uh, save us some ice cream and jelly, eh? But only if you're good. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Max? Yeah? What was that? Max? Yeah? Very fetching. It's the only thing I could find to wear. I can't go to the restaurant dressed like this. I'm going to pick the children up. Uh, look, Susanna, um... I know you're really angry with me, and I can understand why, but I just want you to know that... What happened between me and Sammy was a complete one-off. It was a stupid mistake. I wish I hadn't met the damn girl. She's been nothing but a pest ever since... Well, ever since that night. When will you ever learn, Max? Yeah, I know, I know. Please don't make me feel any more guilty than I already am. I just... I just want you to know that I'm... I'm sorry, and I shall never hurt you again, and I promise. It's a joke. Oh, I'm sorry, Max. I can't help it. Where did you get that? Um, well, I got it years ago. Uh, I think I was drunk when I bought it, or at least I hope I was. But, uh, oh, God, what am I going to do? I can't go out like this. <laughs> what about the clothes you travelled in? Uh, in the washing machine. It wouldn't dry in time. Well, don't go to work then. Much as you hate to admit it, they can manage without you for one day. Yes, I suppose. Mm -hmm. See you later. Susanna, about what I said earlier, um, I'm sorry about everything. So you should be. Susanna, where's the wine? Thanks very much. Tra. Hiya. Hiya. Oh, the Muppets made a comeback, have I? Hey, you. Peter did this. And you still talking to him, like? You're not too old to get a smack, you know, Mike Dixon. Oh, I think it looks dead different. Well, you've got to keep up with the trends, haven't you? And I can't let your Jackie get all the attention with her new hairdo. Yeah, but the big question is, Bev, would you have a tattoo done? You're joking, aren't you? Your dad hasn't even forgiven me for having my belly button pierced. Anyway, why are you asking about tattoos? You haven't. We have. Oh, my God, your dad'll go off his head. Did it hurt? Oh, no, I didn't feel a thing. You nearly passed out. Well, it was warm in there. <sighs> Let's have a look. Well, no, we can't show you because we've got to keep them covered up for a week. So what have you had done? Well, it's got our names with, like, a yellow ribbon behind them. Oh, hey, it's a good job his name isn't Engelbert. You'd have been there for days. <laughs> <laughs> so why have you got tattoos? Well, it's not turn it up to an engagement ring, innit? Oh, aye, ah, yeah. Silly me. So, are you having a do or what? Well, yeah, but we haven't decided who we're going to invite you. Well, don't get any entertaining booked, cos I can do my singing spot for you and it won't cost you a penny. Yeah, nice one. Oh, I wish I could get a tattoo done. I'd have Bev and Ron forever in a big heart. Did you get one done, then? You're joking, aren't you? I've only just managed to persuade Ron to let me model in a hair show. You're going to be a model? Yeah, for Jackie's salon. They asked me. I think Rachel and Katie are doing it and all. She's bevied. You know, if I was Max Farnham, I'd stay well away. It's nothing but trouble, that one. Oh, Emily, sweetheart, don't eat that. It's full of additives. Oh, no, we can have some proper food when you go home. Ooh. OK, ready? Ready, steady, go! Yeah. 
Well done, the birthday girl wins. Well done, Jim. Well done, Jim. Mick, you've missed past the parcel. Where have you been? Oh, I couldn't get away, mate. The white tail, I didn't turn up till late. I can't stay long. I've got to get back there and keep an eye on him. Slow isn't the word. He hasn't got a clue. Oh, Jim has got more sense than he has. All right, babe, enjoy your birthday. Yes, but I'll start with you and see you. You can make me look like this. Yeah, I will do later, darling. All right. You're right, mate. Enjoy it. Hey. If you're looking for someone with a bit of experience, uh, I can think of someone. Who? Jimmy. What, as in Corkill? No chance in there. I turned Jackie down presently. Look what happened the last time I took on the next con. That Greg Salter tried to stitch me up for armed robbery. I can't say I like the thoughts of working alongside a drug dealer anyway. Yeah, well, he, he has changed, though, Mick, honest. But he just wants a chance to prove himself. Sin, I'm not going to take the chance. Yeah. Enjoy yourselves, good squirt. Dad, are you coming in a three-legged race with me? Um, no, I don't think so, are you honest? Oh, please. Emily, no. I want you to. Mummy's there. Aye, aye, Max. Oh. Where's the uh, perm and the muzzy? Oh. Hey, <laughs> calm down, calm down. It's very good, uh, very funny. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Oh, if you go on, Dad, just one race. All right, I tell you what, just have one race and I'll go back in, all right? Go on. Oh, Max! Hey, Max, uh, it's not fancy dress, you know. Oh, dear, and you know I went to all this trouble? <laughs> <laughs> Darling, you uh, have got okay. to be honest. Okay. Oh, oh you Max, you have you missed me? Uh, sorry, this is not the right time. How did you get playing? How do you behave like that in front of my children? Well, why haven't you told the bosses yet? What do you mean, us? There is no us. Well, all those promises you made me. Max! I don't know what you're talking about. Sammy, come on, I'll take you in. What do you mean you lied to me? Sammy, come on. Well, like you lied to me when you said there was no one else. And then you went and slept with her, didn't you? You were present even though you've lied to me. These were mine in the first place. Max, Sammy, come on. Look, will you please just leave me alone? I told you I don't want a relationship, all right? No ties. God. Look, look, just please, Sammy, just leave me alone. I don't want to have anything to do with you. You can't treat me like this. I am not going to let you get away with this, Max. Do you hear me? all night and leave Louise like that. What if none of us had been in? Anything could have happened to her. Yeah, well, I've had enough of her dumping her on us all the time. Who the hell does she think she is, eh? She thinks she can just use us all the time and we won't do anything about it? Yeah, well, not anymore. Well, why? What are you going to do? Oh, don't tell me. She ends up in some club all night getting blazzed. She looks terrible. She's gone to bed. Right, Katie, this has got to stop. She's making our lives hell. And God knows what effect this is all having on Louise. I know. I mean, what sort of mother goes out drinking all night and leaves a daughter at home? She's not fit to look after the kid. Jackie, I've said all this to her. Yeah, well, it obviously never had any effect. Casey, you've got to do something about her. I've tried talking to her till I'm blue in the face. That's what I mean. She needs to be taught a lesson, then maybe she'll start behaving herself. What do you mean? I don't know. Get onto the social services about her. Tell them to give her a warning or something. Isn't that a bit drastic? Well, we've got to do something, and anyway, it's for her own good. You said ages ago you'd report her if she didn't sort herself out. Yeah, but that was just to scare her. Yeah, and then when you never rang them, she knew she got away with it and could just carry on where she left off. Phone them, Katie. I can't. Well, if you won't, I will. Don't, Jackie. You gonna ring them or what? 
Well, I can't do that to my own sister. Well, you're gonna have to try and stop me then, aren't you? Jackie, if you phone the social services, oh, Sammy could end up having Louise taken off of a good. Oh, they only do that in really bad cases, don't they? See, what has he got? Oh, Sammy down as a bad case. She's been in trouble with them before. She has a bit of a problem in the past. Like what? Drinking. You mean she's an alky? Well, I thought she got over it. She promised me when she came here she'd stopped ages ago. Yeah, but isn't that what they all say? So long as she had a drink problem? Well, it started when she was with Owen years ago. She was in a terrible state, but then she stopped. The thing is, since my dad died, we haven't had much to do with each other. Then her known started having problems again, and she must have gone back to her old ways. And if you phone the social services, she might go even worse. Oh, you better get help for her from somewhere, Katie, before it's too late. Hey, Tom, I'll be expecting more of the messages next time. So unless you want to lose your legs, yeah. you better bring them in when I tell you, all right? Did you know that we only use a seventh of our brain? Mind you, some people only born with a seventh of a brain. Do you want this rammed down your throat? No, thanks. I don't know where it's been. You're asking for the good, aren't you, lad? Aren't you even bothered what he's going to do to you when he finds out you've stitched them up? I can handle it. I know I haven't exactly been the most perfect mother for Matthew and Emily. What with uprooting them to the States and bringing them back here again. Moving them around from pillar to post all the time. But I have tried. Which is why I'm worried about having to move them again. What do you mean? Moving them again. Well, I'm not sure this is the best environment for them to grow up in. I mean, how do we know Samantha won't give a repeat performance of yesterday? <laughs> what are the children supposed to think? Seeing this young thing throwing herself at their dad all the time. Oh, God, don't. I mean, surely she's got some dignity left. I mean, she wouldn't. Would she? <laughs> Who knows? And then there's the question of, if it's not her, will it be someone else? Make me sound like Playboy of the Western world. But if that's what you want, to feel free to see other people, then I've no right to stop you, do I? I mean, it's obvious you don't want to have a relationship with me. After all that's happened, I'm not sure you ever will be. I have no claim on you, except that you're the father of my children, which brings me round to my original point. None of this is very fair on them. So, you're seriously thinking of moving out? I don't see what else I can do. Under the circumstances, I know this is not emotional blackmail. I'm not expecting to go down on your knees and beg me to stay. I just think it would be for the best. Wait his face. I don't really want to see your stupid face in my shop again. Get out, you useless, and don't come back. What's going on? You only went and turned the freezer off last night. Come and look at this lot. Oh, bloody hell, I should have brought me cosy. Look at the state of this. Look at all this. Look. Look at these. Ruined. I can't refreeze these, can I? He's wasted all the stock that div. Now I'm back to square one on my trot. God, why does nothing ever go right for me, Sin? Look, I'll give you the answer, mop up. No, you're all right, I'll do it. No, there's no problem. I said I'll do it! Why do I make my life so complicated? I mean, the thing is, Susanna, I don't know. Since. Patricia left. I was clinging on to the idea that we'd get back together. And then I realized I was on my own for the first time in years. And then you moved in. And that made me even more confused. Sammy, it was a mistake, a major mistake. But since then, I haven't been sure what I wanted. Max. <laughs> I'm not sure you'll ever know what you want. But because I still care about you, 
I can't stand on the sidelines knowing you're with someone else, whether it's Samantha or Patricia or whoever. It hurts. I'm sorry, but I can't help the way I feel. I still care about Patricia, but... I can't see any future for us. And do you feel the same about you and me? I thought I did. To be honest, I had every intention of telling you to move out when I came back from France, but... I just couldn't do it. So what are you saying? You can't live with me, but you can't live without me. I want you to stay. Are you really sure about this? Believe me, this business with Sammy, it's put me off seeing anyone else for the rest of my life. The children will definitely not be seeing their dad with other women. Just you. So, will you stay? Georgia. Nope. Bills, bills. Reader's Digest. It's been a week now, not a peep out of her. I mean, why hasn't she phoned? Belle, I've told you, she said she'll phone when she's ready. <gasps> it's no good tearing your hair out over it. She said that she wanted some time on her own, and that's exactly what she's getting. Nat, tell her I'm right. Yeah, he's right, Mum. This week is talk about Georgia. I haven't even mentioned the wedding. I think he's feeling left out. He seems down in the dumps, doesn't he? Mm. I don't really like him. No, it's not. But why don't we take him and Jules out for a meal somewhere? It's ages since we've all been out together. What about Max's place? What grounds? That's a bit pricey, isn't it? Well, not he gives us a discount. <laughs> we don't exactly dine out every night, do we? Well, they'll enjoy it. Look, I've got to get off to work. Can you ask him and then book a table? Yeah. And Belle, we won't talk about Georgia all night, will we? Okay. Okay. See you later. See you. See you, Nat. See you, Dad. Your dad's decided to take us for a meal tonight. Why don't you bring Jules? And then we can have a chat about the wedding. Yeah, okay. You don't sound too keen. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'd love to. Thanks. Good. Bad day, Leo. Only two in the class to get top marks. I can't believe it. Worth it to see the look on Tinhead's face. What do you reckon I'll get? A week's detention? Suspended? All I know I'd keep my head down for the bit if I was you. Because he'll be after you. And so will all the others that you stitched up. Uh, don't you think we best walk the other way? What? Miss all the fun? You're dead, and you. Oh no, Leo can't take any of the credit. It was all that. To me. I couldn't give a toss who did it. You're both gonna get it. Well, I'd love to stay in chat, but I've got things to do. Dead. Let's go. I like Jim. Yeah, I don't mind. What's up? No. Just been to give the good news to Jackie that I'm still unemployed. Oh, nothing doing. Not a sniff. Can't see anyone taking me on at this rate. No one wants to know. Well, listen, uh, Mick Johnson's just given the knockback to that YTS lad he had working for him. He's useless, and he's looking for someone with a bit of experience. Now, I know he hasn't taken anyone else in yet, so why don't you get over there, see if he can take you on? <laughs> you are? Me and Mick Johnson behave yourself, will you? He's already bombed me out, Sonny. Look, Jimmy, he's desperate. Do you reckon? Yeah. Look, if you don't ask, then you can't get told to get lost, can you? Yeah, you're right, hey. Nice one, kid, thanks. See you, Jim. All right, Mick. 
Nine nine there, mate. No, no, right, Jimmy. Ah, oh, mate. Listen, uh, just wanted a little word with you, actually. Look, I'm dead busy here, Jimmy, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I won't take a minute. Uh, Simbam was telling me that you're looking to take someone on. And, uh, well, I was wondering if you'd consider me, like, I mean, uh, you know, I could work overtime, weekends, anything you want. You're not joking, are you? No, mate, I know what you're thinking, but look, uh, well, I'm trying to make a go of things now. And, well, that's why I want a proper job, you know. Honest, I work on the hours God sends. I'd do anything, Mick. Please, I just want someone to give me a chance, you know. Yeah? Well, I think you've had all the chances you deserve, Jimmy. You've got a nerve, haven't you? You ruin people's lives selling them drugs, and then you expect to walk into a job like it never happened. Look, I know what I've done, Mick. But listen, I'm desperate for a job. Look, I'll do all your cleaning for you, you know, deliveries, anything you want. Just... Here's a chance to prove to you that I mean it. Do you seriously think I'd let anyone like you in here? You'd have your hands in that till the minute me back was turned. Do you think I'm thick, Jimmy? Oh, I'll ask McDonough, he's a soft touch. Well, I'm sick and tired of people taking advantage of me and then letting me down. Yeah, well, I wouldn't let you down, would I, Mick? Oh, not much, you wouldn't. I wouldn't take you on, Jimmy, no matter how desperate I was. Listen, you're nothing but a waste of space. Now, get out of my shop. No, I right, no need to bind me head up. I was only asking for a job. Well, there isn't one, is he? So go on, on your way. What's going on, eh? Well, go on, then. Hey. Yeah, don't bother coming back to me. I won't. Don't worry, pal. You're having a go at me, then you're having a pop at Jimmy. I thought your shirt was going to rip open at any minute. He's only asking for a job, for God's sake. He just came in at a bad moment. Yeah, well, there was no need to take it out on him like that, was there? Look, I know I might have overreacted a bit, but. A bit? Look, Sam, I'm just having a bad day. Look, Mick, well, you're only making things worse for yourself getting wound up like that. Yeah, I suppose. <sighs> Mike Tyson would have been waving the white flag the way you were carrying on. All right, sir, I get the message. So, what are you going to do about getting someone in here? Just keep on looking. Look, Mick, you're gonna work yourself into the ground, mate. I mean, you need someone to take over now. But why don't you take Jimmy on on a week's track? And if things don't work out, then they don't work out. Sin, we've been through all of this. And anyway, I need someone with a bit of experience. Well, he's got more experience than that YTS lad you had. Look, he has changed, Mick, honest. He just wants a chance to prove it, that's all. You can't expect me to trust him, though. Mick, he never robbed that watch when he was doing my wind around, you know. You can ask Katie Rogers, he was innocent. And you of all people should know what it feels like to be falsely accused. Go on, give him a chance. I mean, it could be ages before you find someone else. I don't know. Go on. Oh. Right, I'll tell him he can have a week's trial. Nice one. But I'm only doing it as a favour to you and not him. And because I'm desperate. Jeez. But I hope I don't live to regret it. Because if he steps out of line, there are no second chances. Gonna come back to my house now? No, I'd better not. I know when my dad's left me younger than I'm with you. You'll get a knock on again. Hey! Dickhead! Leggy! Oh. oh. Have you got any paracetamol? Some in there. Oh, tar. Um. Listen, Kate, I'm sorry about last night, you know. Say the big apology. I've heard enough of them already. It's been like this since you moved in. Yeah, no, but it won't happen again, I promise. Sammy, it will. You know it will. Why don't you just admit it, eh? You've still got a drink problem. I haven't. I'm all right. I've been drunk a few times, but it's not like every day, is it? Sammy. Oh, and yesterday, it was only because I was upset the way Max treated me. How would he be like that, eh? How did you expect him to be? You made a right show of him in front of his kids as well. I felt ashamed. You're gonna have to get out. What for? There's nothing wrong with me. I used to say that when I didn't want anyone to know about me bulimia, but... But when you admit it to yourself, that's half the battle. Oh, so what are you saying? I'm some old alky. No, I'm not saying that. Look, Casey, just because you're seeing a therapist, it doesn't make you an expert in people's problems, you know. I'm not saying it does. 
I'm trying to help you here. Who are you not? You're just having a go at me. And who do you think you are anyway, me mother? I'm just trying to get you to admit you've got a problem. Do you know how close Jackie came to ringing the social services about you this morning? She what? And what do you think all this is doing to Louise, eh? What if none of us had been in last night? You'd have just left it in on her own. Anything could have happened to her. Oh, all right, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, I thought you'd be back in the land of the living by now, but uh, obviously not. Look, have you just come round here to insult me or do you want something? I've come to tell you I don't want you to clean for me anymore. In fact, Max and I would appreciate it if you didn't call round at the house at all. You're sacking me? Correct. Goodbye. You're just as bad as him for using people. Well, I don't want your lousy job anyway. Sammy? What's going on, Lynn? Hey, yeah, hang on. What's going on? I said, what's going on? Ask him. I might have known you'd have something to do with it. It's not me. It's him. He's had him for me ever since I started this school. Well, if you weren't such a stuck-up little ponce. All right, all right, that's enough. Get yourself back home. Now! All right, keep your hair on. I'll see you on Monday. Bye. And the same goes for you. Go on. Beat it. Why don't you go knocking around with them two again? Especially that Simpson lad, he's nothing but trouble. Have you got that? Yeah. Just don't do what your father did and turn up an hour late for your own wedding. <laughs> it gets longer every time you tell the story. Anyway, it wasn't my fault. The boat was laid back from Dublin. Dublin? A stag night. Which turned into three days, and he was sick all the way back on the boat. Oh, it was a rough crossing. Well, Guinness and whiskey, more like. And on our wedding morning, he had these huge bats under his eyes. Still couldn't resist me, though, could you, darling? Hey, make sure you don't ask your dad on your stag night. I could be left at the altar for hours. <laughs> <laughs> I was really looking forward to having George on me hand night. I haven't asked anyone else to be bridesmaid. I hope she gets in touch. Well, even if she does, I think you'll struggle to get a bridesmaid's dress in her. It's uh, not really her kind of thing. <laughs> I'll just nip to the loo. That wine's gone right through me. Oh, hi, Max. Everything OK? <clears throat> no, not really. Sorry? Where did you get that suit? Um, well, as I said, it was second-hand. And I think you'll find the original owner paid a lot of money for it, about 400 pounds. It was reduced from 450, if my memory serves me right. It was yours? Well, how come... It... Susanna donated some stuff to charity, and unfortunately, some of my belongings got mixed up with it. Oh, I see. <clears throat> well, um, at least I can recognize quality when I see it. <laughs> um... Do you think we could have another bottle of Chardonnay, please, Max? Silly. I can't believe you're wearing the neighbor's cast-offs. Well, how was I supposed to know? I mean, I can hardly take it off and give it back to him, can I, Nat? Well, what's up? You're very quiet. Yeah, you've hardly said a word all evening. Are you all right? No, not really. What? Don't you like the starter? No, it's fine. It's just all this wedding talk. I'm, I'm starting to think, um, things are going really fast, you know? Maybe we are rushing into it. I mean, you said so yourself, didn't you, Mum? I'm starting to think you might have been right. Well, look, I was worried about you, that was all. I didn't mean to put you off altogether, honestly. Are you sure it's not just pre-wedding nerves? Hey, it's great in here. It's a shame we didn't know about it earlier. We could have had it for our reception. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shame. Me. Not come to do your Hulk Hogan act again, have you? Uh, no. Uh, he's come to ask you something, haven't he, mate? Yeah. Listen, Jimmy, I've been talking to Simba, then uh, I think I was better out of order before. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, and uh, well, I'm prepared to think again, but only under certain conditions, and because I'm desperate. You boy? He's uh, asking you to work for him. But only on a week's trial, mind you. 
Oh, straight up, like? Yeah, but listen, I'm telling you, Jimmy, any trouble, any trouble whatsoever, and you're out. Listen, you got no worries on that score, Mick. No, I, I won't let it down, kid, honest. All right, well, you start in the morning. Be there 10 o'clock on the dot. Will do. Thanks for that, yeah. Cheers, Sing. See yous. See you, boss. Look, Max, sir, uh, if I'd known this was your suit, I, would... I think it's best forgotten, don't you? So, when's the big day? It's quite soon, isn't it? Next month, yeah. Oh, very good. Oh, Max, you've got a visitor. Ah, hmm? oh, if you just excuse me, I'll just, um... I thought I told you to stay away from me. Oh, and you think by getting Susanna to sack me, you can forget all about me? Look, will you please just go? I'm very busy. You used me, didn't you? This is getting ridiculous. I've asked you nicely, now I'm telling you, just go, will you? Get your hands off me! Who the hell do you think you are? Sorry about this. Get out. I have told you, Max, I am not letting you get away with treating me like this! You expect me to treat you the way that you behaved? Just the way I behaved? Max, you were the one who led me to believe we had something between us. You're just twisting everything around. There never, never was any future in us. There never will be any future in us. For the last time, will you please stay away? from me, Susanna, and the children. Come on, get out. You're pathetic. First day. Eh? Gotta make the right impression, kid. <laughs> You're not chewing in for another hour, are you? I know I'm gonna call over a mix. Gotta be cheese to grate, pepperoni to chop, know what I mean, kid? Make sure you brush them properly down, the tooth fairy's watching. Oh, hey, the best dressed pizza man in Liverpool, eh? <laughs> Don't look overdressed, do I, kid? Oh, no, you look dead smart, Dad, eh? <laughs> I hope you do really well today. Oh, <laughs> thanks, kid. <laughs> <laughs> right, is everything on that list, Mum? Yes, I'm just checking everything's down. Well, it's all going to go all right tonight, isn't it, Dad? Stop worrying, will you? Listen, if the Dixons have agreed to come for the tea, it shows that they're willing to make an effort, doesn't it? Eh? Yeah, your dad's right. Will you stop worrying and go and get Kylie ready, will you? I want to get the quickie before the queue okay. starts. Hey. <sighs> Can't say I'm looking forward to having the gruesome twosome in here. Well, this engagement too has got to be sorted, and they've got as much right to be involved as us, you know. We've just got to get on with it, love, for our Lindsay, see? Yeah, you're right. So. I'm a decent. Do you look the kind of fellow you'd want to employ? <laughs> Come in. You look lovely. <laughs> I haven't had much cause to say this over the last few years, but I'm really proud of the way you've... Well, you know. So just you keep it up this time, yeah, will you? Yeah, I will, I will. <sighs> Dead nervous, you know. Got butterflies in my stomach and everything. Just pay a quick visit before I go away. No, I'm not trying to con you into buying me dinner. I just think we should keep an eye on your position. So I have to take you to the Lyceum Library, one of Liverpool's most exclusive restaurants. We could try Beecher's Brook. I think that's our other main rival. We've got to keep up, Max. Just because Grant's won that award doesn't mean we should rest on our laurels. All right. 
Book a table for tonight. In that case, will you drop me at the hairdressers? Wow, I've got to look my best if I'm representing the restaurant, don't I, partner? Um, I hope you two haven't forgotten about the wages you still owe me. I'll be over for them later. The quicker we get her out of our lives, the better. Well, you made your bed, Max. Leo, get a move on. You're going to be late. Morning, boss. What do you want to be? Listen, I was just wondering, I know it's a bit early and that, like, but, uh, well, do you need any messages or anything getting, you know, before you don't know? <sighs> no, just get down to the shop one time. I'll be there in about an hour. I'm going to gym first. You sure, like? Leo, I won't tell you again. Um, well, look, there's something, then. Um, but I'm warning you, Jimmy. Any problem, I'm going straight off the door. Yeah, I know that, boss. Uh, I want you to go to the bank when it's open in there. Get me some change. You want me to handle cash? Well, it is a shop, Jimmy. We may as well both get used to the idea. Yeah, yeah, no problems. Look, get me twenty pound in ones, and uh, ten in exchange. And don't forget, you're on a trial period. Yeah, sure. See you later then. Oh, and last, bad me stomach's in bulk. Oh, really bad, is it, son? Yeah, it's killing me. And you think you may have to stay off school? I might have to, yeah. Do you think I'm soft or what? I know when you're sick and when you're swinging the lead, so don't try and fool me. Now, come on. Nat, you think George will ever come back? Yeah, of course. Soon? Yeah, I expect so. Why hasn't she been keeping in touch? She's probably just been busy. Busy doing what? Nobody even knows where she is. Look, she's probably staying with friends. She can look after herself, don't worry. I'll see you later. No pretending to be sick in class either. I'll be ringing school to make sure you didn't get lost on the way. You weren't pretending to be ill, were you? My parents twigged that one in the first year. Any film with Oxy and Tenet? Well, I had to avoid it for a couple of days. Then it's the holidays. Oh, yeah? How oh, can we? You'll get us outside school. We'll just get there on time. He's always late. And what about dinner time? And what about home time? And then we'll just lay low for a bit. <clears throat> wait till he goes home. Then we'll just come straight back here. You'll soon get tired of waiting. Come on. Do I come? Yes, please, white no ship. Right, so I haven't done then? Oh, just a quick wash and blow dry, please. I really liked what you did last time. Oh, great. So you'll be seeing you here more often then? Nope, I should think so. That stairs and the beauty salon. I am glad you're impressed. Um, actually, I wanted to ask your advice about something. Oh, yes. Yeah, you see, there's this big hair show coming up tomorrow, Hair Fair 96. Salons from all over the Northwest hire stands and compete against each other, and we're going into the competition for the first time. Oh, sounds like a good move. How oh, it is, but it can cost quite a bit to set up, you know, hiring the stands, paying everyone's expenses. So I thought it'd be mutually beneficial if I could interest another business in a sponsorship deal. Good idea. A local restaurant, maybe? Jackie, love, can I have a quick word? Um, excuse me just a sec. Hiya, love. Hey, if you're thinking of selling off any more of your Maxi's old gear, any chance of giving your neighbours fair shout? Dad? Sorry, uh, I just popped in to see if you were coming over to the Corkles with us tonight. I wouldn't spit on Jimmy Corkle if he was on fire. Now, can you leave that, please, before you'd upset any more of my clients? Okay, Ta-da! Right, where was I? I may be wrong, but I think you were about to offer Grant's the chance to sponsor you in the hair fair. <laughs> um, you wouldn't be interested. Oh, I didn't say that. Really? But I'll still have to convince Max. Just let me have all the figures, how much money we'd have to lay out, and what kind of numbers we'll be attending, and I'll put it to him. Oh, excellent. Don't take the skin off, Jimmy. Just making sure to stick to the hygiene rules. Can't be handling onions after cutting up chicken, can you? And don't forget, those ovens are brand new. Yeah, yeah, no pops. Yeah, all of these. So, so boss, it's a bit of a twinge. We overdid it a bit this morning. Oh, well, you want to be taking it easy with them weights, don't you? Know? You can be doing yourself the mischief, you know. Yeah, we've got a competition coming up. I can't take it too easy, can I? Yeah, be careful of those drugs and all. If I was you, I just took the injury. That's all. Probably well, wouldn't say that if you were in the Olympics, would they? Probably send you home. <laughs> just mind your own business, Jimmy. Yeah, sorry, boss. I'm only joking. No, I don't pay it to joke. Just get on with your work, will you? Sure. What did you do with that change from the bank? Hey, yeah, it's over here by the till. Yep, 
You're okay, you checked it all. I got him to weigh it as well. Well, there's no harm in checking it again, is he? You avoiding me, Jono? No. Where's the ming gone? I don't know. You can have this, then. Four quid change. Let's have a seat. There's your pizza. Thank Thanks for your custom. See you again, mate. All right. Ta-da, now. Thank you. Hey, Jimmy, how do you fancy your first delivery? Oh, yeah, different. Nice one. All right, look, that's the address, and the customer's called Judd. Six nil, but... Great, I'll just rinse my hands. Jimmy, it's a delivery. Yeah, well, you've got to have clean hands if you're handling food, haven't you, boss? Look, it's in a box. Look, just get it round before it goes cold. We'll have no water left if you wash your hands anymore. No. Uh, you're not going to be playing any tricks on me because it's my first day, are you, boss? You know, sending me for long stands, glass hammers and that. Jimmy, just make the delivery, will you? It's as good as done, boss. I'll be within a minute. Leo, what's happened, son? Matt. Not, nothing. You're joking, aren't you? Look at the state you're in. It was just a fight. Fight? Look as though you've been battered. Then you try and defend yourself. I couldn't. There was three of them. Three of them? Right, I'm going round at school. It wasn't in school. These lads just started picking on us for no reason on the way in. Us? Don't tell me that Simpson lad was with you. And I suppose it was all his fault. No. They just started picking on us. That's all. Who did? I don't know who they were. But they wouldn't do it for no reason. Right, you can stay here till I finish work. And then I'm going to go around and see if that Simpson lad knows anything. Come here. Ah. Huh? All right. Bit short notice, isn't it? You can easily get some Grant's promotion material for tomorrow. And for the amounts involved, do you think it's worth it? Well, it's only a small amount there, I suppose. Don't see any reason why we shouldn't sponsor them. Good. I'd get Jackie a start, you know. Really? Yeah. Yeah, when I was looking after the parade, I let her have that unit when nobody else would give her the opportunity, you know, because of her rage and lack of business experience. Oh, you've got a talent for spotting good prospects, haven't you? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I suppose I have, yeah. Pick you as a partner. <laughs> and are we talking professionally or emotionally? Both. Well, if you want it to be both. Well, as I said before, Max, I think our first concern should be Matthew and Emily. They need some stability, and they deserve it after all they've been through. And don't you think we could help it if we were a family again? Well, once we get this Samantha business out of the way, then... Yes. I do think we can start to get on with things. Ah, sorry. I'll get it. Oh, God, no. Samantha. Mm. I've come for me wages. I'll get them. Well, I'm not standing on the step like some divvy. Two full weeks' wages. How am I supposed to cope after two weeks? I've got a little girl, you know. I'm sorry it ended up like this. We both are. No, you're not. You couldn't give a toss, the pair of you. You treated me like some worthless skivvy you could get rid of once you'd had your fun. And you're no better just standing there letting him get away with it. Well, I'm glad I don't work for you anymore, because I don't want anything to do with you or your seedy little lives. I've got to go. Wait, you can't just leave. I didn't think anyone would be here. Look, we've been worried about you. I've been worried There's about no you. There's no need. I'm fine. I'm staying at a friend's... I've missed you. I need to talk to you. It's important. Please, just forget it. I've got to go. No, not to you tell me where you're staying. Hold well on, boss. There you go. Seven quid. There's one Jimmy in the middle. <laughs> hey, listen, I was thinking... Don't you think we shift more of those Alcatraz if they had no anchovies on them? I don't know. Quite popular. Yeah, well, me and Jackie, we always take them off. Can't stand them. If I come to think of it, can't think of anybody else who does. Too salty, aren't they? Mm, yeah, I'm not that keen. 
suppose we could try doing them without. Uh, hey, couldn't end the new pizza after me. Uh, don't mean Jimmy, like, you know, sticking more along the lines of, you know, uh, a Walton. You know, English version of Alcatraz. Yeah. Did a bit of my time in there. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it, does it, Jim? No, I suppose not. Listen, you can get off now, if you like. You sure? Still got half an hour to go. Yeah, no, but you started early. You've got the Dixons coming around later, haven't you? I'm going to be closing early myself. I've got something to sort out. Oh, that's OK. Cheers. Nice one. I'll just dare swell my hands. Jimmy. Oh, right, on second thought, I won't bother. So, do all right on my first day, what? Yeah, not bad. But what I said this morning still stands. There'll be no second chances. I'm only doing this as a favour to Simbad. Any problems, Jimmy? You're out. Yeah, the won't be, I'm telling you. Anyway, see you tomorrow, then. Yeah, see ya. Oh, it's a fun. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, all right. I need a word before we go around to yours. Yeah? Just to let you know that I'm only playing happy families for our Michael's sake and Lindsay's. But don't think that this changes anything between me and you. Yeah, I know. You see, I'm not very happy that our two families are being joined together. Or that my grandchildren will have corkle blood in them. Just thought I'd put you straight. Understood. Everyone, yes. yeah, I just thought I'd lend a helping hand, you know. Oh, you're joking. She wouldn't even let me do anything. Why did the shopping with me? Anyway, I carry to entertain them. It's fine on my own. That looks really nice. Well, just a few bits and bobs and a bit of salad, you know. Hey, she's had read in the Family Circle cookbook all day. Well, I wanted to make it nice, you know, both families being here. And I've done some veggie stuff as well. Yeah, anything to keep Bev happy, eh? <laughs> yeah, well, I don't want any upsets, do we? Hey, will you take him out to play with Kylie? Go on. <laughs> Anyone order a pizza, man? Oh, yeah. How did it go? Oh, it was brilliant. Mick is dead pleased with me. Said so if I carry on the way I started, the job will be permanent. Oh, I made up for you. Yeah. Could have done without a visit from Von Deco, though. Called in to say that nothing's changed between us. And he's only calling round tonight because of their Mike's sake. Oh, it goes all right. No, it will, Bob. It will. Well, we all know how important tonight is for both of them, don't we? <laughs> you were right. Everything you said about Jill's wedding. I should have listened to you. Don't, Nat. I told Mum and Dad. I'm not sure. I don't know if I want to go ahead with that. Well, what else have you told them? Nothing. Just that I don't want to make the same mistakes you made with Martin. <laughs> the only mistake I made was coming back here. Don't put this on me, Nat. I don't want to be responsible for breaking you and Jules up. If you're not going ahead with this wedding, then that decision has to be yours and no one else's. Georgia! Come in quickly before there's another scene. Just tell them I'm fine, I'll be in touch. Well, look, leave me a number so I can contact you. No, there's no point. You're running in. Can't face me, eh? God, you're pathetic. You two should be ashamed of yourselves the way you're treating me. Call yourself a man. Because you're a coward, Max Barnum. You're a coward. God, you think you can just use people and then dump them like they're nothing? Like there's some disgusting piece of dirt that you'd like to sweep under the carpet? Well, I want you to know how much you've hurt me. You and that nasty little sidekick, Susanna. God, you're pathetic. Are you listening to me, Max? Because you make me sick, you two. You make a perfect pair. You deserve each other. Sammy, Sammy, you all right, love? Well, I was, yeah, until I was stupid enough to get involved with him. Well, why don't you go home, eh? Well, I am now. But I just want him to know what a rat he is and that pathetic... 
Static Susanna, his wife, or his ex-wife, or whatever she is. Well, look, standing out here shouting is not going to help. Yeah, I know, it? but it's not fair, is it? It's just not fair. Things don't change around here, do they? Neighbours slagging each other. And one of those new ones nearly hit me taxi. He went racing off. Hey, do you reckon she'd be all right? It's her own fault, isn't it? I mean, I used to clean for Max Varnum. Nearest he got to my drawers were the ones I used as dusters. Has she gone yet? I think so. Thank heavens for that. I'm just glad the children aren't here. I don't want them subjected to this. No, I can't apologise enough. I, I know I've been stupid, but I never thought that she'd no, do something Max, like... No, Max, you didn't. But that's you all over, isn't it? Why don't I think first? I mean, why don't I learn from my mistakes? I... But early for the party, isn't it? Oh, just leave it out, eh, Jackie? Looks a lovely no, spread. Oh, thank you. She's worked yes. really hard on it, haven't you, Mum? Mum. Oh, Is thank it? you. Um, what have you got there, Bev? Oh, I've just brought some veggie stuff for me and Ron, you know, in case you forgot that we didn't eat meat. There's no need, I've done plenty. Oh, well, anything uh, that doesn't get eaten, you know, we can take it out. No. Eh, uh, what was all the fuss about over the road before? Mm. Sammy Rogers. Apparently she was having a big thing with Max Varnum and he sacked her, so she was on the back. What are you saying? So, what have you cooked then? Oh, um, I've just done a finger <laughs> buffet, you know. Okay. I'm not eating fingers. <laughs> uh, I've done some chicken satties and finger rolls and rice and pasta salad with and without meat. Hey, these sausage rolls look nice, love. Yeah, well, we may as well make a star, so if you like. I thought I'd try a few things out, you know, for when I do the buffet at the engagement party. Um, just grab plates, come on, tuck in, help yourself. And who said you were doing the food at the party? Right. She will tuck in, then. <laughs> Do you follow me here? I had to. Look, can I have a word? No, Nat. We've said everything. And just go away and leave me alone. Well, these canopies look nice, love. Canopies. This all looks very nice, Mum. So when do you think you'll be getting married? Well, as soon as possible. Once the divorce is through. So can you get engaged even if you're already married? Yeah, I don't see why not. I know the church disapproves. Maybe, but there's no law against it, is there? Do you go to church, Lindsay? Not really, no. Come on, love. Are you all right? Get off me! <coughs> What's up? It's you! You're trying to poison me, and this was in me rice salad. Oh, it's only a bit of tuna. There's no meat in it. Yeah, but it's an animal, isn't it? And me and Ron don't eat anything with a face. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't realise. Yeah, we'll just have to have that mung bean pate I brought. Well, I'll make sure that there's none, you know, in the engagement buffy. And when was all this settled that you were doing the buffy for the engagement? I thought that's why we were meeting tonight, to discuss this. Yeah, I thought we'd be doing it, you know, with us being able to get the stuff at cost, like. Maybe we could all do it between us. Well, I thought if we're having it here, it'd be better if I did it. Yeah. Hey, hold on, hold on. Who said we were having to do here? Well, we've got the biggest house, haven't we? You also had a dead body in the back garden for God knows how long. Not to mention bullet holes through your windows. Now, you owed it there, you. What's in the past is in the past. There's no reason why I can't have the party in my house. Love. I don't think there should be an engagement party at all. This issue of the divorce is more important. Well, he's all just pack it in. It's me and Lindsay who are getting engaged, so it's us who make the decisions. And we'll have it in the loose if it'll stop the arguments. Come on, Lindsay, let's see if we can find Teddy. Sort this out. A bit touchy, aren't they? We need to storm off. We're only trying to help. 
Look, can't we just forget about it? Look, I want to get to the bottom of this. Who's PT then? He's not in. Well, your mum then? Well, she's not in either. I'm on my own. So what are they due back? Well, I don't know. Yeah, well, what's it about? You know exactly what this is about. I wouldn't ask you if I did. So you weren't involved in the fight this morning? I haven't been involved in any fight. You walked to school with our Leo, didn't you? Yeah. So you were involved? Well, yeah. Well, it's not my fault they chased us. How come you haven't got cuts and bruises? Because I got away. It sounds just like you. And I bet it was you that they were after, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. We got leg, that's all. Yeah, and Leo got caught. So you just stood by and let him take it? <laughs> no, actually, I got away. Don't actually mean, lad. So you just left him? Yeah, but it's not my fault he's not got the initiative to hide. But it's your fault that he's been in so much trouble lately, isn't it? No, I don't think so. Look, I've got to go. I'm a little bit busy. Hey, don't, don't get smart with me, lad. Uh, you won't get away with that. I'm telling my dad. What did you do that for? Because he deserved it, the little get. Anyway, why are you defending him? He let you take a hiding. So you didn't have to go and hit him. There was no need. You've made everything ten times worse now. Give a fella my size, that is actually that, you know. <laughs> ah, nonsense. You love your love handles. <laughs> hey, it's a big day today. We're off to town to do this hair show later on. All oh, right, well, break a leg and all that, you know. Well, why don't you come? Well, I'd love to, Fee, but I can't. I've got something on, you know. Well, cancel it. I can't. Um, I'm going for a drink with some mates now. Oh. Hey, uh, you're not too tiny, are you? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what do you think of Jackie and Peter's chances of winning then? Well, I'll tell you what, if they don't, it's a fix. I mean, our Peter's an absolute genius. Mm. You can turn a mop head into a work of art. <laughs> well, do you fancy doing something tomorrow, then? Wouldn't mind going to see The Rock. Oh, The Rock. What are you uh, suggesting this morning, Perry? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've always loved him. Yeah. I always thought he was dead sexy. Must be that bald and grey hair. Well, do you think he's even sexier than me? Oh, yeah, Miles. Oh. You're here so I can get me hands on you. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't be persuaded, then? Yeah, uh, oh, I'd love to, but uh, sorry. <laughs> no, all right, then, lover boy. I'll let you off this once. Right. But we are defo going the flicks tomorrow. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'll call you back once I've had a chance to speak to Nat. Talk to you later. Bye. What time did you get home last night? Uh, about one. Well, you couldn't have. Your dad and I didn't go to bed till 1.30. I don't know. Then obviously later than one thirty. Where did you go? Out with some friends. I've got to go. Look, before you go, I've just had Anne Bradley on the phone. She wants to know who's coming to the wedding rehearsals next week. Well, why didn't she speak to Jill? She's got the details. Well, shouldn't you be involved too? Who said I'm not involved? You did. At the restaurant last week. Look, just forget about that, all right? Just put it down to last-minute nerves. So you're absolutely certain that you want to go ahead with this? Yes, I'm absolutely certain. Well, in that case, can you phone Jules and let her know if your sister's coming? I tried phoning George yesterday and she's still not in work. Mum, what is the big problem? It's just a rehearsal. Well, you know what the Bradleys are like. Everything's got to be absolutely perfect. Fine, then I'll tell them we don't even know where Georgia is, let alone what her plans are. What's wrong with him? How should I know? 
How can we start? I'm so early. I thought the point was to do all the work in front of the judges. No, we just have to do the finishing touches, the show. Got to be there for the house. I suppose the likes of Andrew Collins likes to be kept waiting. Got to get all his beauty sleep so we can get up in time for Richard and Judy. You still haven't told us what you're going to do to us yet. All you three need to know is you're going to look drop dead gorge if you ever let me get finished. Hiya, I love. Booked in for a facial and a manicure. Yep. If you just take your seat, I'll get someone to come down for you. Do you think he's just as nice looking in real life? Is yeah. he gay? No, he's married. Oh, come off it. Thank you. Can't be straight, have it. That immaculate. Of course his hair's immaculate. He's a hairdresser. Anyway, Rachel's right. He's been married for years. His wife's name's Liz. Actually, very few male hairdressers are gay. I know, yeah. Some of them look quite butch, aren't they? Like Peter. <laughs> you being sad? No, are you being paranoid? Do you know what? It really annoys me the way everyone just assumes I'm gay because I'm a hairdresser. Oh, it's got nothing to do with the fact that he's camp as a girl guy with blouse. <laughs> Take no notice of her, Petal. She's only teasing. Mm. Next time she has a go, it's a bit your handbag. <laughs> OK, Mum, face and nails. Would you like to come up? Uh, Jackie, can I have a go on the sunbed? Well, yeah, of course you can, as long as you pay. Go away. I'm practically your stepmother. Anyway, I'm modelling for you for free. I just want a bit of colour for the show. Oh, go on, then. Ta! Oh, God, look at the time. I better get me skates on if we're going to win tonight. Eh, uh, what do you mean, if we are going to win? Well, don't forget, half past six on the dot. As if I didn't have anything better to do on my night off. Oh, I promised Jackie we'd both be there. Oh, go on. We've never been sponsors before. Don't worry, I'll be there. <sighs> Why is it that every time we leave the house, he has to put the empty milk bottles out? I mean... <laughs> I said, she should be ashamed of the way she carried on last night, shouting and bawling in the middle of the clothes. My reputation wasn't bad enough. Hell hath no fury, Max. Yeah, tell me about it. Well, I hope she gets this whole stupid thing out of her system. So do I, for your sake. Doing anything special tonight? Not really, no. Just felt like treating yourself, did you? Yeah, something like that. Married? Nope. Seen anyone? Yeah. Serious? I don't think so, no. I've only been seeing her in a couple of weeks. I can tell by the look on your face you'd like it to be. Is it that obvious? I've wasted a long time for someone decent to come along. I'm not going to let this one go. Must be something in the air. I've just started courting myself. I was beginning to think I'd lost it, but this really nice fella just swept me off my feet. It always happens when you least expect it, doesn't it? He's a real romantic. We even went playing tennis last week. Makes me feel like a teenager all over again. Ah, oh, that's nice, isn't it? I think he's probably the one of the nicest fellas I've ever met. Dead decent and considerate. It's all very well being decent and considerate, but has he got a few, Bob? Yeah, he's got his own business. Actually, he's got two businesses. In fact, you probably know him. You know... Three, which son better than Bob? Barbados. So what is it he does for a living? We went spent years doing windows. Double glazing? Well, not quite, no. So, do you want to look any browner? More like pillar box red. Oh, don't say that. Well, it might look all right when it's settled down a bit. Anyway, I need to get your rollers in. Come on. Oh, I've got my phone first. Well, what for? Well, I need to get my camera. I've got to get a photo of Andrew Collins, haven't I? Five minutes and that's oh, all. Oh, I'll be on. as quick as I can. The dead excited. The salon's entering the competition tonight. Andrew Collins is the judge. The one from this morning? Yeah, that's the one. Are you going? Oh, yeah, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Is your fella going with you? No, it's not his cup of tea. He's going for a pint with his mates. You seen yours tonight? Well, why do you think I'm going through all this trouble? Why aren't you back at school? I couldn't find my history homework. Well, now you've found it, you better get going, haven't you? I'll go in a minute. You'll go now. You've been in enough trouble since you started there. Can I not start off this afternoon? It doesn't seem worth going in now. And we've only got double games anyway. <laughs> no, you can't. Is there something wrong? No. Look, darling, if there's a problem, you know you can talk to us about it, don't you? Dan? It's him. Who? Leo's dad. I'm waiting for him to go in. I don't want to see him. Well, why not? I just don't, that's all. Well, what's he been doing? Has he been having a go at you again? Something like that. Why? What's he been saying? Well, it's not what he's been saying. Oh, what do you mean? Well, he hit me. You what? He hit you? When? Yesterday. 
Leo got beat up by these lads from school and his dad went mad and started blaming me. When you say he hit you, what exactly do you mean? He just smacked me around the head for no reason. All right, that's it. Ollie, please don't go over there. I'm not having a grown man assaulting my son. Yes, but you know dislike. He's got a terrible temper. I don't care. I'm not standing for this. Right, well, I'm coming with you. No, you two stay here. I'll be fine. But don't worry. I intend to try and deal with this in a civilised manner, if that's at all possible. Why don't you just move your bed in? You've practically moved in here anyway. Just a week to go, Sint. Got to keep on working. Yeah, well, don't overdo it. Your body needs rest in between exercises, you know. Can I have a word? Oh, yeah? Preferably in private. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, get off, don't I? Why don't you stay where you're at, Sint? I'm sure there's nothing that can't be said in front of Simba. Very well. It's about this incident yesterday with my son. I think we're an explanation. What are you talking about? Yesterday afternoon, you assaulted my son. Assaulted? Well, what would you call it? I'd call it a good clip round the ear. Can he ask for it? So you're not denying that you hit him? I just told you. He was giving me lip. I don't care what he was doing. That doesn't give you the right to hit him. Listen. Your lad's been a bad influence on my son ever since you moved in here. If you've got a problem with my son, you come and talk to me. Hiya. You don't solve it with your fists. What's going on? This fella's just marched over here, accused me of assaulting his lad. What? And you admitted him. Look, I gave him a cuff round the ear, that's all there was to it. Well, in my book, that's assault. And in mine, it's a way of teaching them not just little breaths to listen. Look, can we just cool things? So just do one, will you? I'm not going till this has been resolved. Are you deaf or what? I've told you to do one. If you don't shift it now, then I'll resolve it myself. Why is violence the solution to everything? Can't you control yourself? Instead of behaving like a thug and a bully. I really was a bully. I put you straight through that wall. Do you hear me? Ollie! You go over What's going on? What kind of damage? I'm really capable of no beating! Ollie! You bloody maniac! Are you okay? I've had better days. You should get your friend to control himself. Oh, they should, should they? My Leo was beaten up because of your boy. If you'd seen the state he was in, you might be able to see it from my point of view. I mean, if you middle class lot, you know, taught your kids some, some proper discipline and none of this would happen. Can you believe this? Come on, let's just go to bed. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. What's up with him? The man's a complete psychopath. That's what's wrong with him. Who do they think they are? I don't know what the problem is, but they seem to have it in for me. Yeah, well, I bet you wouldn't be too happy if you hit your Leo. You didn't hear the way their son spoke to me. He's a cocky little git. I tell you what, if he was married, I'd give him a good hiding. Yeah, well, he's not yours, and that's the point. Whose side are you on? I'm just saying that's so. all. Well, don't bother, Sin. I'm off. What into him? Don't ask me. I couldn't believe it when he grabbed that fella. They must think we're a right bunch of scallies. Well, I can't blame him for coming over. If someone tried to hit my kid, I'd want to kill them. <sighs> what's, what's got into him? I mean, the mech I know doesn't fly off the handle like that for no reason. I think this keep fit has gone to his head. Seems to think he's Rambo or somebody. Um, I think he's taken something. How do you mean? Well, you know when he did his shouldering the other week and he wanted to carry on training? Yeah. Well, the only way he could was by, um, taking steroids. What? Well, it's no big deal. I've seen loads of people using them down the gym. Well, what's he playing at? I, mean, I would have thought taking anything like that would have been well against his principles. It's got nothing to do with principles. He's taken them for medical reasons for that injury. He said he'd stop taking them after the competition. Anyway, the thing is, I have heard they can have some weird side effects on some people. Make them aggressive in that. And you think that's why he's acting like this? Well, it isn't the first time I've seen the loser's rag lately. Mm, me neither. Oh, I don't know whether I should be telling you all of this. I wouldn't like him to think I was gossiping behind his back. Well, I'm glad you did, Val. Cos if he doesn't stop taking them, God knows how much grief he's gonna cause. Well, you know how stubborn he can be. What if he doesn't want to listen? I'm just gonna have to make him listen, aren't I? Taxi for you, Fee, Amy and Angie. Uh, Rachel, Katie and Bev can come in my car. Okay.
I feel ashamed going out with me head like this. God, I've told you this is just preparation. We've got to save the fancy bits for in front of the judges. I'm feeling a bit worried now. It's nothing to feel nervous about. We're going to win with flying colours. Yeah, I've got butterflies myself. Just think, in half an hour, Andrew Collins is going to be examining our heads. God, you make him sound like the nit nurse. <laughs> Do any of you girls want a massage before we go? Relieve the tension. Hey, we haven't got any time for that. Come on, let's make a move. Right, girls, come on, grab your handbags. We're going to set the hairdressing world on fire. Come on. Right, Mekas, okay, we're coming. Yeah, of course it is. You, uh, you calm down, then. No, me, sin. I don't let things get on top of me. Listen, um, me and Val are thinking of going for a drink tonight, sir. So welcome to join us when you knock off. I can't. Jimmy's out on a delivery and I've got to get home to the kids when he gets back. Oh, I just thought you might have fancied a baby, never mind. Yeah, well, I can't, can I? I mean, I'm in training. Well, you can still have a pint. No, I'd rather not. Thanks all the same, mate. Oh, how are you feeling, anyway? Oh, I'm fine. What about you, then? Going anywhere special? No, nah, you know, just for the drink. I take you won't be seeing the lovely fee. What do you think? It's only what's in. I think you're gonna come a cropper one of these days. But don't come crowds to me when it happens. Ladies and gentlemen, it's with great pleasure that I welcome you to Hair Fair Northwest 96. Firstly, I must thank Michael Merkin Hair Products for making this event possible. Now, I know each of the five salons have already put in a tremendous amount of hard work and effort, and I wish each and every one of you the best of luck. But that suit cost a bomb. Looks like a D&G to me. Hey, that'll be me one day. Different outfits every day. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't he? I'm dead jealous of his wife. She's with him on the telly doing the makeovers. Oh, you were in love? Oh, yeah, but if Andrew get me the call, I'd be in like a shot. I'll ignore her. She's always been fickle. <laughs> We also have lots of fabulous entertainment lined up for you. As a tribute to the 50th anniversary of the bikini, we have students from City College modelling their idea of 21st century swimwear. So, if I can ask the contestants to begin their finishing touches, the rest of us can sit back and enjoy the entertainment. Thank you, and once again, good luck to you all. <laughs> You're here to show off your hair, not your lallies. Well, this is it, girls. Make or break time. Let's go for it, eh? Oh, and by the way, he's been hairdresser of the year, so no popping up liquid belly, all right? I think I'll go for a mooch, check out the competition. We're not trying to impress the customers in the trading post. If I wanted to do that, I'd have given you the blueprints. Thank you. Do you think you ought to be finished in time? Well, we'll have to be, won't we? We'll pass a couple of air clips at least. We can't see much to be worried about. That salon from Warrington seems quite good, but the models are as ugly as sin. Yeah, but it's not the faces they're looking at, is it? So, what do you think so far? Oh, Rachel, you look beautiful. Could be on the cover of Vera. <laughs> I don't think so. No, you being serious. You look absolutely stunning. You put them so-called supermodels to shame. You do look amazing, though, Rachel, even if I have to say so myself. Oh, thanks. And what about me and Kate? You like with the ugly sisters in the corner? <laughs> well, you two look fantastic and all. You look like you've just walked straight from the pages of the face. Oh, that dancer up there. Oh, which one? The one with the orange headband in. She's been here above me at college. I've been racking my brains trying to remember what her name is. They're really good, aren't they? Yeah. She was up there. 
Jackie, judges are coming over. Jackie D style hat? Uh, yeah, that's right, Sam. Jackie Dixon, nice to meet you. That's in the Jackie D, I take it. Yeah, and this is Peter Feel and my top stylist. Oh, uh, and so it's a pleasure to meet you. I think you're great on the telly. Uh, excuse me, Andrew, any chance for Fosie? Yeah, sure. Peter, will you take that for us? Uh, wait till the light comes on the back, but well, it might take a while. I've got to put new batteries in. <laughs> Mind if I get on it? Oh, no, not at all. Um, I'm Bev, by the way. I'm one of the models. Uh, I sing, you know. Oh, nice to meet you, Bev. <laughs> Say cheese. 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 I watch you all the time. I'm Rich and Judy when I've got the day off. And you know, I think you work miracles with those makeovers. I mean, some of them walk in look like Ian the Sharp. I'm <laughs> going like Princess Di. <laughs> I'm Faye. I run the beauty salon at Jack and Dee's. You know, massages, facials, that sort of thing. I know you show this type's are under an awful lot of stress. So if you fancy a massage, just let me know. I'm probably the best of the Northwest. Anyway, Andrew. You couldn't go far wrong with Jackie Dee's. All the stars pop in the house. <laughs> Great. <laughs> anyway, Andrew, I'll let Peter fill you in on what styles we've decided to go for. I think they speak for themselves. They're, they're very impressive. Anyway, I must move on. Time's running out. Oh, isn't it lovely, eh? Dead down to earth. I think he took a bit of a shine to me. Hey, I thought you were spoken for. It seems to be a spark between us the way he was looking at me. Would surprise me if he pops in for a massage next week. Well, it's just a pity you didn't let me and Peter get a word in edgeways. Didn't even get a chance to tell him about the salon. I mean, that was the whole point of it. I can't believe he's just going to let him get away with that. And what else can we do? Call the police. I mean, first of all, he hits Danny, then he attacks you. He's obviously a complete maniac. Well, we've still got to live opposite the man. I don't think we're doing ourselves any favours in the long run by reporting him. Yeah, well, you can't just let him get away with it. Look, can I be excused? I need to make a start my school work. Well, you've not finished your food, darling. I'm hungry. Poor Danny. Eh? Mm. I'd love to know what he said to that man to make him hit him. <laughs> Mum, can I borrow the car again tonight? Where are you going? Just in the town to meet some friends. Oh, you're not seeing Jules? I don't have to see her every night, do I? Will you be drinking? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get absolutely slaughtered and then drive home totally recklessly. No, I won't be drinking. Just asking. Well, that'll be a first. You going out for the night and not drinking. Can I borrow the car or not? Yes. Thank you. Ollie, have a word with him again about the wedding. He still seems very unsure. Wouldn't a softly, softly approach be better? You know what he's like. He'll get all defensive and clam up. Well, as the wedding rehearsal is next week, I think it's about time he made his mind up and put us all out of our misery. See, so I'm talking to them. Maybe he's just us now at the competition. Hey, guess what? What? I've just been talking to that girl who was at my college. Apparently, their dance group are holding auditions tomorrow, so I'm going to go along. Oh, brilliant. See, it was worth your while coming after all. Well, well, well. That lot were really impressed with my handiwork. I think they were trying to poach me. Hey, I'll boil you if you leave me in the lurch. Oh. oh, sorry, we're so late. Oh, you've missed it all the nights oh. and the results soon. Well, what do you think? Haven't I done them proud? Oh, yes, so very uh, unusual. Well, thanks again for sponsoring us. We really appreciate oh. it. This is the only acknowledgement we get. Well, what do you want? The name of the restaurant? Spelling out in lasers? No, but I expect something a little bit more substantial than this. I will look on the bright side, Max. If we win, you'll get your gob in the paper again. <laughs> Come on, let's get a drink. Hey, I reckon if we don't win here, it's a fix. Oh, I don't know. That Warrington salad seems really good. Yeah, well, it can't be that good if he wants us to try and poach pizza. Oh, you can't see little thing. You just wait till I've got my hands on that trophy. <gasps> oh, no. Look who's just walked in. Susanna, aren't you going to buy me a drink, then? Sammy, this is getting silly. I don't want to fall out with Look, you. can I have a word with you in private, please? I've said all I've got to say. Well, I haven't. You know where I stand. And the sooner you accept that, the better. Come on, Max, let's go join the others. Hey, you're just in time. He's about to announce the winners. <laughs> Fingers and toes crossed everywhere. Can I have your attention, please? We have now selected the lucky winner. But before I make the announcement, I would like to point out that it's been by no means an easy task. The standard here tonight has been absolutely exceptional. <laughs> However, we do have to choose an overall winner. But each and every one of you is a winner in your own right. So once again, give yourself a big round of applause. 
Sammy, how do you do, Mia? Just so sick of talking. See how you get on. Where's guys. Louise? We've been amazed Chat by friends. Well, make sure you don't make a show of us, eh? Don't worry. Won't be embarrassing you for long. No Just want to have a word with Max. You are. Well, this is it then. The moment we've all been waiting for. And the winner of the 1996 Michael Merkin Hair Show is... Jackie D. Stahlhouse. And you, Max, come on, you're our sponsor. Oh, all right. Uh, Max, just before you go and enjoy your moment to glory, I think there's something you should know. Sammy, this really isn't a good time. Oh, yes, it is. Because I've got some news for you. And it's about time you faced up to your responsibilities. How many times have I got to tell you? I have no responsibilities where you're concerned. There's nothing between us. Oh, that's where you're wrong. Because from now on, you're going to have to treat me with a little bit more respect and give me some support. I'm pregnant, Max. I'm having our baby. 